What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here and it's time to put Ty the Tasmanian Tiger into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We have lots to get through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. Now for Ty's standard special, it wouldn't just be his regular bite attack. In the games, there's this metal magnet jaw item that allows Ty to basically magnetize towards his foes, lunging at them. It's pretty hard to explain. But that's basically what he would do here. It would be a combination of Max Straight Lunge and Sonic's homing attack. He'd build up energy and charge at his foes, going upwards if they're in the air. Ty's side special would be the ability to throw his boomerangs. He'd have two of them unlike Toon Link. They'd also be much faster too, the downside being that they can't hit foes on the return trip if you miss. Ty's up special would be the ability to glide with his boomerangs. Don't ask me how he does this physics defying move, he just does. Leaping into the air, spreading his arms and then flying. Then finally his down special would be the ability to cycle through different boomerangs. He has his regular wooden boomerangs that would do normal standard damage, his flame rings that would burn foes, his frosty rings that would freeze foes, and of course his zappy rings that would electrify foes. Yeah I know overall this moveset is pretty basic, but it just shows how well Ty would fit in as a fighter. Now unfortunately Ty isn't quite as popular as someone like Mario, Sonic, or Crash, so I had very limited renders to work with and couldn't find ones where I could change the colors easily. But basically his alternate costumes would amount to different colored shorts, different colored scarves, different colored wooden boomerangs, just anything but his fur because that would look weird a different color. Then again, he could have a slightly oranger alt in reference to Sly the Tasmanian Tiger, his cleverly named rival. Ty's final smash would be riding the bull. If you've ever played any of the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger games, you know this thing is massive. It can destroy stone pillars by ramming into them, crush wooden crates, and even destroy entire houses. So Ty would ride on top of this bull as it charges around the stage, and Ty could also trap foes with his lasso ring, pulling them into the bull's path. Just like with the Spyro video, I have a bit of a bias towards the first game when it comes to the stages. They're just a lot more colorful and creative in my opinion. All the bright oranges and reds and rainbow cliffs, all the high up platforms making it hard for characters without wall jumps to recover, and you could even have a little raft in a pool of water for players to float on. Next is 2-Up! And speaking of water, this stage is full of it. Small grassy platforms surrounded by big pools of water, and buttons you can press to activate floating platforms. When discussing Ty's costumes earlier, I brought up his rival Sly, and I figured, hey, that'd make a pretty good assist trophy. Sly's main weapon is the Doomerang, a boomerang that can pretty much chase down any enemy because it's remote controlled. It does a lot of damage too, as in the game it was able to destroy Boss Cass's robot. It'd be pretty funny to watch your foes trying to run away from this thing as it constantly chases them. And the next assist trophy are the Frill enemies. A bunch of these guys would appear at once, panicking, running around, punching your foes if they get too close. It'd be chaos when they appear on screen. And that's pretty much it. Basic assist trophies. Sorry it was so short. But now you see why I didn't go with the boring Vegeta and Krillin choice in my Goku video. Items were very easy to do. There's so many boomerangs to choose from in the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger games. But first up is the Chrono Rang. It would basically act like the timer item if it was a projectile. Just throw it at your enemies. It wouldn't do any damage, but it would slow them down significantly. Plus, since it's a boomerang, it'll come right back to you for multiple uses. But just like Bayonetta's Witch Time, if you use it too much in a short period of time, its effectiveness will wear off. Next up is the Kaboomerang. Think of a bob -omb item, but it comes back to you for multiple uses. But of course the drawback of this one would be that it's incredibly slow. It swirls around and travels slowly towards your foes before exploding, and it'll take a while to respawn and return to you. Then finally is the Mega Rang. Picture in your head how the soccer ball item works when you're able to hit multiple people with it. That's basically what the Mega Rang would be. Just throw it at someone and it'll bounce across as many foes as possible. Pretty cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. To finish off this video, I'll show the 8 pieces of music that I think would fit Ty and Super Smash Bros the best, and you may want to stay tuned for that because afterwards I'll show you who's next.